It's, the, it's one of the dumbest battles in, in rap history. One of the dumbest beefs in rap history when it comes to fucking rap. One of the dumbest beefs. It's never going to be about rap. It is never. It is never going to be about rap. It's all about who you like more. Oh, man. So, the Nicki and Cardi beef is ramping back up the past year or so. It's ramping back up. And <laughs> people are not afraid to continue to instigate that shit, dog. It, it was going on. So, listen, listen. Elliot Wilson shared this clip of Charlemagne the God on its Up There podcast that's hosted by Loom. So, let's check this out right here. You want to see the full thing? Go to It's Up There podcast with Loom on this channel and all that good shit. Let's check this out right here. They all pulling them. Salute to Cardi. Mm. Cardi shifted that. Cardi, Cardi she started shifted using that, that influence to. Cardi shifted that in the culture. And I didn't even think about that till you said it just now. But Cardi shifted that in the culture. Because Cardi made it to where, you know, you the OG, you the person that's made all the money, you sold all the records, but you have no problem putting your arm around that next person. So whether And in fear of it, I'm seeing other people like, get that for, for, for she get on it. Yeah, and I don't even know if it's fear or... You know what? That's what I should be doing. Right. Well, yeah, and, yeah, and, yeah. And sometimes you come, but you come off as a hater. If 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 every time it got to be that one person that's, that look like they saving that's the right. world, that's you know. Right. So it's like, nah, I'm gonna jump on this one. I got this one. That's right. You know, for she, and it's like they building this alliances. You know, or something Cardi, happening. Cardi did for female rap what what Jay Z and and Drake did. You know what I mean? Like Jay Z, whoever that, whatever that next thing was out, Jay Z was Wrapped jumping on it. Whether it was Juvenile, huh? Whether it was yes. Houston, yes. whether it was Rick Raw, whoever it was, Jay yes. was jumping on that. Whether Makes it was DMX, so like whatever it was, Jay was on it. You know what I mean? Facts. Jay was jumping 50 Cent, you know Facts. what I mean? Whatever it was, Facts. Jay was jumping on it. And then Drake did the same thing. Drake did it with uh Drake did it with lesser known artists. Yes. So Drake would actually Block Boy JB, stuff like that. What Drake did was make the record big. I think what Ooh. Jay did with those co-signs, he made the artists. Big. When Jay jumped on Dope Boys mm, Go that's Crazy a good Remix, point. when Jay jumped on Dope Boys Go Crazy Remix with Jay with Jeezy, people start looking at Jeezy yes. different. You hear him on Rick Ross Hustling Remix, you start looking yes. at Ross a little bit different. You know what I mean? You that's see him jump on Juvenile point. High, it's like, damn, maybe I gotta start taking this down south. Just music. Damn, you know, that's a great point. More serious, but I feel like he made those artists big. I feel like Drake made the man. Song that's a big. fucking great point. I think Cardi's doing both. Mm. I think Cardi's helping to make the artist big and she's helping to make the music big. Cause Cardi just don't do the verse. She do the video, she, she do turn the video. up in the video, she, she go live go with Go live you. with him, yeah. talk about how, yo, this this that motherfucker tweet yeah. about him. Like, yeah. that's what you're supposed to do. Man, but I Rick love Ross to see that. Rick Ross said some shit one time, man, I, I, I stick by this. Represent your people's shit like it's your own. Yes. Two quick observations. One, this is similar to what academics does with 6 9 Charlemagne, if you guys don't get it, Charlemagne partially feels responsible for Cardi B's success opposed to Nicki Minaj. Nicki Minaj was already trained as moving before him and Nicki got cool. Charlemagne, I, I know for a fact, I, I know that Charlemagne feels like he helped propel Cardi's um, um, success. I know for a fact he feels that way because Motherfuckers got egos, and, and that's how I go. Academics does the same thing with 6 9 Opposed to other artists that got popping, he feels like a direct, you know, person that helped 6 9 pop off. So any chance he get a anytime he get a chance to, he's going to support 6 9 and also highlight his accolades because he feel like, nigga, these my, these my accolades. This is what I did. So Charlamagne, I feel like he feels that way as far as Cardi B. Before Cardi even got popping in music, he had to come up to the breath club for just being a personality. And then she got popping in music, he get, he helped push the music. Because to himself, that shows his power in the game, his influence in the game. So that's one point. But to continue, I will push back by saying this if I'm in the room having this conversation. Nicki Minaj, who was obviously who they're not saying but saying, she did songs, she, she as well did songs with smaller rap. Not as much as Drake, but she did songs with smaller rappers. Now, she did a shit with um, smaller male artists. She hopped on Herbo song. She hopped on Ray Shrimmer shit. As far as female rappers, she did that boss ass bitch song. When Meg was first coming out, she did the Hot Girl Summer song with Meg. Before Cardi did a shit. So even if you want to make the argument that Nicki doesn't do songs with people that could be possibly her competition, she did a song with Meg, one of the first huge features that Meg got. So I think that's kind of disingenuous. I think it's kind of disingenuous. And now as a competitor, Nicki did want to hold on to that top spot. Skill-wise, Cardi B knows she can't compete with Nicki. She can't. 
So in actuality, Cardi B is doing songs with artists that are on her level, as far as skill wise, they're on her level. So they are, they're her peers. So, so in my opinion, it's not as big of a deal as the certified legend, the certified legend for show for show, doing songs with younger artists versus Cardi B doing songs with her peers. Invasion of Privacy dropped in 2018. Cardi has only been really dominating and doing her thing in the game for five, six years. She only has one studio album that's been released, so she still is operating in the game. And as she's in the game, you have much more female rappers that's on her level that could do and do their thing. When when Nicki was in the game, the bar was set way higher for your ability that you needed to have to be a relevant rapper. It, it was a high bar. Now the bar is lower, so you have an easier level for entry for more female rappers to be quote unquote relevant. Cardi doing songs with them. It's just a totally different landscape to me, in my opinion. But let's keep on. Um, let's go through some reactions. This person says one of the reasons why Cardi will never truly be respected is because people have to lie about her impact. She's not the first female rapper to collab with other girls. Obviously, we know y'all want to ignore Nicki doing it. LOL. But I could have sworn y'all said the OG girls like Kim and Missy were doing this back then. Now, all of a sudden, Cardi is the first to do this. Y'all would dead ass erase everyone's legacy if it means propping up this non black fake rapper slave mentality oh damn she going hard this person says this is what i mean by we have no real gatekeepers in hip-hop because of the, because of trash ass niggas like this with his horrible takes um the clownery and fraudulence y'all stand behind is why rap is in a weird place it's why female rappers see no real money and have no real fans great job guys damn damn is that the media fault or the consumers fault because of I don't know. I think the consumers have have some say too. They post this shit right here. Stop riding that dick. Stop riding that dick. Stop riding that dick, nigga. Stop riding that dick. Nigga, get that dick up out that ass, nigga. Get that dick up out that ass, nigga. Oh god. Okay. All right. All right. So it's, um, notice how they never credit her for um, bars, rap skills. Instead, they find the most random things that are not rap related. Yeah, these are definitely barbs. <laughs> these are definitely the barbs out here, man. They, be, they uh, really be trying to rewrite history and exclude Nikki as if she wasn't hopping on everything um, and making them big records. This is absurd. Home says, is it for the love or is it none of the records are sticking? So the next best thing is feature money with ladies who are seeing traction. Without this cosign, Charlotte is sitting here blatantly lying about. Is it Uchiwali or one mic? Okay. The barbers in your comments having a fucking fit, but it's the truth. I'm glad people, even men, see what it is. Cardi keep moving through this life, and the boss lady you are, you don't have nothing to talk about. Just go. Now, Cardi's doing what she's supposed to do. I don't think Cardi is an amazing rapper. She's an amazing. She's a, she's a dope artist. She's a dope entertaining personality, and she's doing what she's supposed to do. Now, the fans have risen her to a level to put her up against Nicki Minaj, and I think it's an unfair comparison. I think it's unfair. I don't know why they did it, but they did it. <laughs> so, here we are, man. Here we are. These folks are out here just doing their job, entertaining, putting out bodies of works or songs and shit like that, and the fans have compiled it and using it to make arguments, you feel me, and just and create their own little wars. The artists are feeding into the wars. I don't know why, but they doing the shit, but just as a a fair person evaluating the shit is an unfair battle. Completely unfair battle. I don't know why they're doing this shit. Cardi's great in her own right as far as what she brings to the entertainment world. That's what she does. To compare her to Nicki Minaj, I don't know why, but here we are today. And they're going to keep doing this shit and it's going to keep being a weird ass comparison. Because essentially we're comparing popularity, likability, to skill that's what we do cardi b's popularity and likability helped her be able to um galvanize the troops and get a great team around her that supported her to put out some dope music a great project and it it went stupid it went crazy invasion of privacy did unreal numbers and she also had her being a latina to be able to make bilingual music and that does amazing it's one of the top genres and she's still eating off of that shit alone her personality keeps her going she doesn't have to put out music to stay relevant she could hop on songs and just use her celebrity to keep her afloat and do what it's supposed to do Nicki minaj her skill is what made her popular as a rapper 
That's what she lays her hat on, rests her hat on, her skill set. That is what brought her to the top in the rap game. And that's keeping her relevant. That had her dominant for so many years. You know, to the point that people didn't even want to hear other female rappers if they weren't coming like that. Over time, as music has becoming to the point that we accept people are strong sonically, and far as give us good vibes and fun and shit like that, we've lowered the threshold for entry for rappers all around the board and female rappers that have slipped in because they able to sell personality. You know, um, they're, they're more so influencers and shit like that. So they able to do their thing and get popularity for that shit. Cardi B helped the landscape as far as showing that that's possible with her coming popping. She helped as far as that. So, hey. She changed it as far as that, as far as showing that you ain't got to be the best rapper. You could be very, very popular and we're going to make you hits. We're going to make you go. We're going to make you pop. Atlanta, Atlantic, that's what they doing over there. And I, that's, that's business. That's the business. But I, but once again, I'm going to end this video by saying it's an unfair comparison to keep putting Nicki versus Cardi because it's not an even battle. It's just going to be... Fans is making weird ass arguments as far as why which one is better when we know who's really fucking better. It's about who you like more. And for whatever reason, you're going to say you like no more, that's why you like no more. It's, the, it's one of the dumbest battles in, in rap history. One of the dumbest beefs in rap history when it comes to fucking rap. One of the dumbest beefs. One of the dumbest beefs. I'm going to keep it juicy. One of the stupidest beefs. This ain't, because they. it's never going to be about rap. It is never. It is never going to be about rap. It's all about who you like more. This shit is dumb. But y'all let me know what y'all think in the comment section below. I'm going to go ahead and get up out of here, Doja Boy Stacey. And I fuck with you the reason why, because you, you fuck with me. Hey, I'm out.